In this script, I have this game object variable in which I assign this cube in the inspector. Then I also have this function here. If this function is called, for example, in start, the game object will be deactivated and a message will be printed in the console. If we run this, you can see that the object is deactivated even before the first frame of the game is displayed. So, how we can delay the execution of this function? For example, call it two seconds after the game starts. I know two different ways to do it. Subscribe to this channel and let's start with the easiest way. Invoke the function. You can use this method from any script that inherits from mono behavior. And to do it, you just write invoke in between parentheses, pass two parameters. First, a string with the name of the function you want to call. The second parameter is the time in seconds to delay. In this case, two seconds. If we run this, after two seconds, the function is called and this is already working. Make sure to call this function only once, unless you know what you're doing. For example, if we invoke the function inside update and run this, the messages in the console are telling us that the function is continuously called and that could be problematic. You may want to define a way to invoke a function just once, for example, using a boolean variable like so. Now, let's see the other way I know to delay a function in Unity, using coroutines. For that, you need to define the coroutine, which is like a function, but instead of void, it returns an ienumerator type object. Then, inside the coroutine, you could use the yield keyword to release the program flow. For example, yield return null basically means wait till next frame. So, if we call our function after that yield instruction, we should see the result the second frame of the game. To use a coroutine, you have to start it. For example, here we could write start coroutine and between parentheses pass the coroutine like so. I'm gonna press pause and then play. The game stops after displaying the first frame and at this moment, the object is still visible. If we make a step forward, you'll notice that the object now disappears. That's because the way we define our coroutine. Now, instead of yield return null, we could wait a certain amount of seconds in this way. Yield return new wait for seconds and between parentheses pass the amount of seconds to wait. If we run this, after two seconds, the function is called. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you in the next video.